And look at that. Hey you guys, it's Clark from Super Collector Clark. And in my previous video, I did a review on these figures, which were exclusively available for the Japanese market. And they are made by Mattel. We got the T-Rex, Blue, and the Stiggy, which are all awesome. So if you haven't checked that video out, please go do so right after this video. All right, so for today's video, I have something really awesome. It's not this guy right here. It's these guys over here. So I just got these um, online today. Uh, the pictures online looked really promising. So I was uh, pretty uh, excited to get them. And they come in these uh, clear plastic uh, blisters or what do you, whatever you call them, PP plastic. Um, and um, well, they, they're kind of like in this diorama, they're, they're like a diorama set, but unfortunately this one kind of got all, you know, messed up um, during shipment. And I have all three, but I'm just going to do one at a time and uh, do like a three separate, you know, like a part one, part two, part three. And I'm going to do this one first. Um, look out for these videos. Um, I'll probably do one like tomorrow or the day after for these guys. So um, let's go over the box really quick. So um, inside again, it's all messed up. It says dinosaur mini model um, designer designed by Kazunari Araki. Kazunari Araki, that's how you say it in Japanese. So it's a uh, Tyrannosaurus versus Triceratops. And it says the same thing here. Uh, Tyrannosaurus vs Triceratops. That's how you say it in Japanese. So again, if you're learning Japanese, um, yeah, anyways. So that's the back of the box. It's gonna look like that once it's, uh, uh, it's all put together. Um, so it's made by a company called Favorite. Um, there is a uh, homepage here and I have looked at the uh, homepage but I've been uh, following their Instagram and I saw these pictures the pictures of these and I thought they were much bigger but um, they are they are pretty small um, not as small as the uh, Mattel figures I believe um, I haven't you know I gotta open it up and compare them side by side but um, they are they make a lot of um, these figures but to my knowledge they're uh, mainly known for these bigger sized um, vinyl uh, toys for kids and they sell them at uh, in, in in museums and I bought this uh, like I don't know like three four years ago I believe and, and this is a uh, Spino and, and when I saw it at the uh, museum I totally fell in love with it and um, you know it's totally for kids but it's it's a really fun squishy you know well-made durable toy so um, without further further ado uh, I'm gonna open this guy up so let's look at the uh, backdrop first yeah, pretty uh, simple uh, backdrop. It looks like a kind of like a desert almost. It's got like little plants and nice terrain of mountains in the back. Um, again, it has the favorite logo. And again, I showed you the back before. And on the bottom side, uh, has some warning uh, instructions. And um, it is made out of uh, PVC and Favorite Co. Limited. Um, that's a company um, made in China and it's ages seven and up it doesn't come with any instructions uh, so but I am guessing it's pretty easy to uh, build um, so I'm gonna first uh, show you each pieces separately um, and I'm gonna go with the base you know which is the uh, <laughs> most boring part maybe but um, here's the base uh, it's like a rocky uh, uh, base. Um, yeah, good, good uh, texture and um, paint application. And on the back, it says Favorite Co. Limited Tyrannosaurus versus Triceratops, made in China. Yeah, it's a, it's got a 
Yeah, it's not too heavy, but it's got a nice weight to it. And it's got these little pegs, uh, which I believe um, uh, will uh, fit into the uh, dinosaurs. All right, so I'm gonna put that aside and let's look at the uh, Triceratops. Now, very, very cool. Um, it's, it's a uh, yellow, orangish um, color schemed Triceratops. The face, look at the, let's look at the eyes. That's um, what I care about the most because, you know, having good paint job on the eyes is what gives it life I think and um, yeah it's very well made um, very nice very nice so um, this guy uh, according to the package it, it's a uh, t-rex versus a tri, a tri uh, versus triceratops so th this is going to be battling against the t-rex uh, so it's in this uh, kind of a strange pose um, we'll see how it goes once I uh, Put them together but yeah pretty cool detail um this figure alone doesn't have any uh uh company logos or anything but again let me see if i can get any closer here we go yeah very nice it's obviously got more paint application um so um, detail wise, color detail wise, I think it has a lot more because I mean, as you can see it's got even uh, colorings for the nails and um, you know, I don't know what that is. Is that supposed to be there? Oh, that's, is that like, oh, okay. That's the part of the, uh, one of the, uh, it's like a thumb, I guess. And um, that's the holes where the pegs go in and it's got nice wrinkles in the face. Yeah, the eyes are pretty cool too, but it doesn't have the um, that uh, reflective coloring that kind of shines. Um, all right, so this one now I I was really excited about when I saw the picture. I mean, look at the p dynamic pose of this guy. Um, I can already imagine where the Triceratops is gonna be at, um, and um, but oh man the coloring the stripes on the back very cool very cool very uh, lizard like i guess um so it's got a uh, grayish uh color scheme grayish and um, white uh color scheme it's got a nice uh paint application in the mouth the teeth um i'm sure these are all hand painted of course eyes are uh yeah it's, it's pretty good it's, it's focusing on this um on the leg here on the foot um yeah yeah very very dy uh, dynamic and awesome looking pose so all the nails are colored um i love the small uh, arms and it's got a peg there and the tail the tail is not uh, gray. It's it's very white from this point on back, um, which is nice actually. Um, yeah. So the underside too. It's very very cool. Yeah. Very nice. All right. So um, let's try to figure out how these guys uh, fit into this space. Um, let's see. Sorry about the focus, it's, uh, it's a little off. Okay, so I think this guy goes on these two pegs. All right, so these guys, this, the, uh, the legs should go in there. Okay, yeah, it's a, it's a good, nice fit. There we go. It's looking good already. Wow. Look at that. Very cool, huh? It's got like a red marking there and I think that's where the T-Rex is biting and I think it's supposed to be there. Um, so here's a T-Rex. 
I don't know about the size comparison. Maybe it's a small T-Rex. Um, to me, I thought uh, T-Rexes were way bigger, but maybe it's like a um, baby T-Rex. Um, so uh, I think there's one peg there. So and there's only one hole there. So um, let's see. Oh man. Okay. I think. I think. Oh damn. Okay. I think this is how it goes. All right. I gotta. I put. I put in the peg. The peg is in there. And look at that. Oh man. And I think. Yeah. The 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 left leg there is sits on the back of the uh, triceratops. And and the and the and the uh, mouth. It's totally chewing on the um, neck portion of the uh, triceratops. Oh wow. Yeah, this is so cool. I mean, it fits perfectly. Um, wow. Oh man, it's like they're totally battling it out. I mean, the Triceratops, it's got the, uh, it's got its neck bitten. So um, I'm not sure who's gonna win this battle, but uh, yeah, man, this is so cool. Look at this. Oh wow, I am so loving this piece. You gotta give me a second to uh, look at this in, uh, in person because I'm looking at the uh, back of the camera right now. Oh wow, it looks really good in person too. And it's actually pretty big um, compared to the uh, Mattel um, figures that I reviewed so I'm gonna um, bring in uh, uh, let's let's bring in uh, blue all right so here 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 she is so size wise um, it's kind of hard to have it next to each other um, well, actually it's not much of a different uh, yeah it's not that much of a, a difference but um, you can see it has a lot more um, width and weight. Um, and I mean, as in like, uh, well, the weight itself, it, the Mattel figure is much lighter, but like weight as in like, it, it's more, it looks more fat uh, with a lot of meat. And um, it's more, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think realistic is the word here, but it's, it's more, yeah, it, it's got a more realistic taste. Um, it looks more, uh, it, it's more of a uh, statue or a maquette uh, than a, uh, a toy. Um, I mean, this, I, I'm loving the blue uh, with all the great details, but um, the one's my favorite. Uh, favorite uh, is, is um, very detailed and very realistic. Uh, colored I think and it I think it's the paint job that's um, that makes a difference um, I'm not saying which is better um, I like both of them um, so let me bring in the t-rex the t-rex is pretty big but obviously you can see the difference in paint job there's hardly any paint job on the uh, t-rex here um, but size wise it's actually very similar um, yeah it's a very yeah look at that it's very similar to the uh, Mattel one, um, but again, the uh, one with the favorite has a much more detailed uh, color, color and um, details in the uh, sculpt itself. So you can see the teeth there, and it kind of bites down, and you can have it, you know, sitting down like that. Let me put my hand, yeah, let me back it up a little bit. Um, here's the Stiggy. Um, so Stiggy uh, has some articulation. Um, I showed that in my previous uh, review on this guy or girl. Yeah. So so it is the Mattel ones are you know they look smaller um, or thinner. Um, uh, and more uh it's the the favorite one's got much more paint so it's very uh more realistic by means of uh 
um, paint job and detail. But again, the uh, Mattel toys, um, I believe, are much cheaper um, cost-wise, and um, but it's it's very good. Uh, the Mattel ones I love also. So um, yeah, but I mean, look at this piece. Wow, I love. I just love the dynamic pose they gave they gave it here. Um, <laughs> The leg is totally like holding the uh, Triceratops down on its on its spine or its back. You can see the movement almost, you know, in action. Um, I hope I'm making sense here. Um, yeah, this is very cool. All right, so um, I could I could take this off again and show you the uh, T-Rex by itself because. Um, let me zoom in again because I don't know I, I don't remember if I zoomed in for you guys yeah but the paint job is very nice the the teeth the individual teeth are very well done the paint um, could have been better but I think um, it's not supposed to be all white because it's biting on the uh, neck of the uh, triceratops and there might be blood yeah, but look at the pose on this guy. I've never seen a uh, T-Rex like in a pose like this, but it would be so cool to like actually see a T-Rex like totally battle a Triceratops in this kind of pose. This is so dynamic. Yeah, I mean if I, I, I could probably like just have him like sitting down like this and maybe having like a different dinosaur on the uh, bottom. Um, Biting on some di other uh, 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 dinosaur or something, I don't know, but um, yeah, very nice looking piece alone. So, um, I, I'm not uh, exactly sure where you can get this outside of Japan, but they have a uh, home page, and um, again, it's uh, right here, it's favorite uh, www.f hyphen uh, favorite dot net so if you go there um, it might be in Japanese um, maybe they have a uh, English translation or you can use uh, Chrome's auto translate function and maybe you can uh, see what they got there yeah so if you are really liking the uh, toys from Mattel um, these these guys have uh, these guys are awesome also and um, although they're not um, Jurassic Park licensed or anything if you're into dinosaurs definitely these guys will uh, make you happy I am I am super happy right now um, so yeah paint wise uh, the favorite is, is doing a really good job um, and Mattel is doing a great job also with their these mini uh, dino mini uh, action figures I think that's what they were called yeah so yeah definitely check out the reviews on this if you haven't done so um, and in the back you can see two more so I will be doing a review on those guys so please do again uh, subscribe also there's like a little bell button besides the uh, subscri subscription button and if you hit that every time I upload a video you'll get notified that uh, whenever I upload a video so you get you get to uh, see the videos uh, right away. So uh, I think I'll end the video here. Um, again uh, T-Rex versus Triceratops by favorite. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I give it a uh, 4 out of 5 stars. Um, very cool piece. I'm really glad I got this and I love that little guy. I'm mean, not little but this guy, this guy over here too. This guy is awesome. So um, yeah, thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video for those reviews. Alright, bye.